the journey so far. The king's need was exceeded by anger. Those who would help were destroyed. But from their deaths, a new power drawn from sin and an army that would live once more. So, this is where we left off. We brought him back his cult and he fucked them all up. I am attempting to 100% this game before the third one is released. Now, I have come across a problem. Um, which I'll explain in a minute. Basically, the city of dead is all fighting. There's uh, very little puzzles, really. It's predominantly fighting. Um, I've left this monster room in because this took me so long. And I'm talking seriously long. These three killed me so many times. And I cannot use my Reaper form because I need it. You can see the big guys. Look at them. You can see the big guys are at the edges. And there's three of them. You know that they're going to come at me at some point. Now, you kill two of the wraiths, and this thing arrives. Now, he's not too bad if you can dispatch the other wraith quick enough. Um, I've now got flocks of crows that help me and heal me. They are such a lifesaver, you wouldn't believe it. Um, but basically, you kill this guy, and then you fight one of the big dudes. When you kill one of them... You then have to kill another one. When you get his life down to half, the second one comes out. And that's when you need to uh, use uh, the Reaper form. These guys really aren't difficult. They've only got a certain amount of, mo of moves. And they're very easy to, tele to telegraph. But fighting two at once, it's practically impossible. They're just too powerful. Right, so that's basically what I'm going to do, and you'll see that happen in a minute. Um, but you know, I have reached a part in the game, as you know, I'm, I'm ahead of this slightly. I've reached a part in the game in which the game crashes. And I don't know that I can go further. Now, I'm going to be really angry. You have no idea how angry I'm going to be if I cannot get past this part of the story. Um, because I need to I really have to finish this game and I'm going to be furious because I'm really close to the end as well um, but there will be in the next video because if I can't do it there will be one more video um, which will be out Monday next week and I'll just show you the, the issues there's my Reaper form gets rid of one of them and that allows me to deal with it but the other one died too you have no idea how hard that was. But now I'll go to the boss. Now, as I've said before, bosses have very specific rhythms. You just have to work out what you do. With this guy, you just have to hit the hands whenever you get the option. There is the best time. Um, he'll have a third option when you get his life down to a certain point um, he will drop to the floor and you can hit him in the head and then he goes down into the hole and then he sends a bunch of skeletons at you which is funny because you can actually use them to heal yourself you just hit them with either the right weapon I have a weapon that, that if I kill enemies with it I get life um, or if you can get any um, execution kills with them, perfect. And then just rinse and repeat two more times. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to contact um, the people in charge uh, with the glitch just to see if it's possible to get past if they know of this glitch and how it might be doable I'm going to be so angry if it's not because I really just want to complete this and I am very close 
Um, but yeah, there you go. It's the second time. Now I use my, my weapon. I love this weapon, but I've cannibalized it since because it's good, but it's not that powerful compared to the weapons I've got now. Um, which was a shame because that was a really powerful life giver when it gets low. And here he comes back. Now again, it's pretty much the same. No real new moves here. Um, you just have to go for the hands. Um, and again, you can kind of telegraph where the hands are going to be. Um, and now he's down. And this is the finisher. I love I do love it. He's, he's, got the, he's got his side sticking out of his head. And now I must take that back. There you go. And I'm going to follow him down because I ain't finished with him. There we go. And we've unlocked the Abyssal Forge and we have the achievement, which is lovely. Now, the Abyssal Forge is actually a completely new game mode campaign so that is a bonus thing i'm going to be doing afterwards look if i can't get past the glitched section then i ain't playing any more of this game i'm not going to do the side missions and the coliseum and the forge if i can't actually get anywhere it's what's the point so we move ahead and get ready to meet an old friend. Horseman, I believe you call. Profather, I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own, one well, that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet, unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption and he will unmake all of creation destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? 
There you go. So we've got to return back to the tree, and it kicks in here as well. Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horsemen. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. Make haste for the tree. Now, basically, it's unlocked a uh, a portal, but I'm not going to go in there yet. I'm just going to go and finish off a couple of bits and pieces. Kidna will trouble you no longer. I only wish I'd been there to see her suffering. Few can pass through darkness and emerge unscathed. Killing a kidna. That's one side mission complete. And then while I'm here, I decide to just to quickly check talking to everybody to make sure I haven't missed anything. You saved our and I find another side mission. And for that, you have my gratitude. But only time will tell if your path leads into darkness or if it leads out. Why build constructs? You make us seem sturdy enough. Even we must eventually pass from this life. But our spirits are far too ancient to be drawn to the dead city. We must instead become one with the forest, or take up a body of stone. The constructs are dead makers. You think there would be more of them? Once there were many constructs in the halls of the Stone Father, but corruption has claimed most of their number, and ours as well. I searched for a way to give life to stone without sacrificing the soul of a maker. But I cannot say that life is what I gave my creation. Something went wrong. The construct was consumed by fire. Rage boiling up from the abyss. It killed one of our young ones and fled into the charred pass. I do not wish to see my creation destroyed, but it must not harm anyone else. I need you to kill it. You had trouble raising weeds. Why create a construct? We are a people of stone, born of the fires beneath the earth. I captured a spark from the heart of the Stone Father to bring my creation to life. But it wouldn't stop burning. And soon, his pain turned to rage. I've slain constructs before, Shaman. How will I know when I've killed yours? He has taken to calling himself Gorn. The word I know not, but I sense it is ancient. A word of fire. It wells up from within him and spells onto the earth. Fire or blood, I will drain him of both. Right, so she has basically asked me to go and kill something she created. We know where he is, because if you look on the map, there is one place that we have not been. So we know exactly where that is. Now, while I'm here, I decide that what I'm going to do is I am going to sell the other book um, and uh, go and get the key for the crypt in the dead realm because we know where that is it's at the bottom of the Mad King's tomb you would have seen it in a previous episode and here's the tomb these tombs are lovely they are very nice. And um, I also gained something here that I didn't even realise was a thing at the time. But I heard it before I saw it. So basically, destroy everything you can. All the boxes. You can see there's a thing through there. Um, as you can see up here, there's only one chest here, and you get all the money. That's all the money gone. Destroy all the boxes. I can't help but destroy everything that's possible. It's just something I automatically do. This is also another secret room. You move this out of the way, but you just continue to break all of the crates, and then you hear a noise. That 
noise tells you something's happened. And when you turn round, there is a second chest and another crap load of money. I open this chest. And like all of these, I get a skill point, which is fantastic. The newly acquired chest is life and extra bits and pieces. Look at those fantastic scythes. I will have them. And then every one of these is going to be a weapon. Now, it is worth collecting them. They're not all going to be the best, if we're being honest. But like that there, that's a nice hammer. Um, and, and yet again, a higher execution chance. It's very nice. But all of these weapons are mostly used for money. That is largely what you do with these weapons, is you either sell them or you use them to feed possessed weapons. I'm just using them for money. I've got over a million monies. <laughs> Um, and I'm just not using them for anything. There's nothing to buy. So, you come in here. And you've got another bunch of stuff, which is always nice. Like I said, the higher the better, because you can use them as money or whatever. Lovely. And then you know, if you watched me open the last one, that this is also probably going to be a talisman, because there always seems to be a talisman in these places. And then that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Now, yes, I will say that in the next video, you will find out whether or not I've, I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to try and get past it. I've tried a couple of things to get past the glitch. I don't know that it's going to be possible. I mean, it's like that demon heart. It doesn't tell you what it actually does. So it's a little bit annoying, but you know, there you go. So that's two and I've got another two to go. So yes, I'm going to try and get past the glitched section if I can. Then uh, there will be three videos next week. But on the Monday video, I will show you the achievements and see how far I've been able to get before the game is out on Tuesday. Um, there will only be three videos. I will not do any more. Um, so if I haven't been able to finish the game in time, then Mondays will be the last one. If I have, there will be three. Please keep an eye out. I'm getting so close. I hope the game isn't glitched. And I will see you next time to find out.